this is Matt with Join Ops Airsoft, and this is my first loadout, my woodland loadout, this is what I'm wearing now. It'll be updated eventually, but I'll go bottom to top, and I have some stuff on the table. Um, so, obviously, I'm not, I usually wear boots, but we're inside, and they're muddy, so I can't wear them right now. <clears throat> um, sorry. I have my BDU uh, military um, surplus pants and jacket. My knee pads. They're just skating knee pads. I'll get airsoft ones eventually. But I don't have the money right now. Um, going up to this. I have my, uh, I have a micro Leatherman that little pouch there. Um, this side I have my KWA KP45. Um, rollback. Propane crystal, green gas, whatever. Um, and here I have a speed loader. Just, uh, lock the top thing down um, up here these don't fit pistol mags I don't have any anyway so I have a dead rag a 9 LED little flashlight um, a lighter for smoke grenades and uh, just a pocket knife these all just hold up uh, mp5 mags here just metal high caps 200-250 round high caps put them in my gun just so yeah, it's really simple to reload. You just take one out, lock it in. I'm empty right now, so. Oh, yeah, this is my Task Force Black SD6 or MP5 Echo 1 rollback. Um, got the new iron sight for it, if you guys want to see that. Um, still don't, still haven't fixed the charging handle, obviously. But, yeah, that's about it. Um, um, I have my walkie-talkie pouch here. I have my Cobra Micro Talk. Um, very nice. You can just press a button from inside. I have my British plat patch here. Sorry. Um, uh, you can put some tape. I usually put the flip camera that we're recording this on to catch some action for you. Just have my uh, plain old one-point sling. And this is my hyd water hydration tube. It's in my back. I just tuck it in here. Um, the vest is made of mesh, so it keeps you cool and everything. Um, I'm wearing my Zen Balaclava face mask. I don't know how you say it, but, um, I have my, uh, Marines military issue surplus, um, goggles. Obviously BB resistant, shockproof. Comes with a case and a cover. The case is actually on the back of my vest, but I'll show you that. I have this, um... This is also a skating helmet, but for now, once again, I'll update, get some new ones. Um, I have uh, leather gloves right now, Under Armour. They're meant for batting gloves, but they're all the same. Just a plain green undershirt. Um, on the back, I have um, my knife here. It's pretty easy to get to. Um, and my um, little pistol knife thing. And my, um, my, like I said, my goggle pouch that it came with. In case I'm done, I can just take it off, put it in there, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's really easy to reload. It's easy to just put your gun to the side. Shove it in there. It should fit two MP5 mags. Really good. Um, yeah, for reloads as well. Um, KP45. You just stuck back like that. And you reload it. A good way to do it. Put the thing in if you're righty or lefty, it should be just vice versa. Left hand, and when you're bringing it back up, bring it back up and flip it down so you save time so you're not, you know, you know, save you some time, effort, all that stuff that you need because it's precious. Um, anyway, over to the stuff on the table. Sometimes I will replace my helmet with my military shoe boonie. All my military issue stuff I get at my local army surplus store, um, surplus world ink. Well, uh, C11, CO2, um, with the Matrix Universal aluminum silencer in black. I will be spray painting that later. Um, these are my boots. Like I said, they're dirty. This is inside. Yeah, the cloth on the back, so you can. Um, yeah, nice trades there. Cloth on the back, so you can wiggle around and whatnot, dance in them. Um, point two fives in a bag, six millimeter, obviously, and more in a little jar thing. And it's great to have a bag to put all of your airsoft supplies in.
if this zips up, you're good to go. But, yeah, so if you want to do some ground. Anyway, this is Matt with John Upstairs Health, and see you soon, YouTube.